Hey, everybody. Hey, Graham. Hello, hello. Graham, I was hoping you could help us out with a hand. Uh, just played it recently uh, in the, for me, maybe for others, always tricky one no Trump, this time as a defender. And uh, the res results were pretty interesting. They were split, I think, in about thirds in terms of uh, how we did, whether we stopped them, how much we stopped them by, or if they get any extra tricks. Can you uh, help us out with it? Let's take a look. All right, here it is. Uh, so auction might be a little bit different for uh, uh, Ackle players, but uh, this is uh, where I ended up and uh, immediately faced with the decision of what to lead. Okay, before we do anything, I haven't even thought about the lead yet. Mm. There's, we've got to go, we've got to get into a routine. And it doesn't matter if we are defending or declarer. Mm. Before we make any decisions, we've actually got to look at the information available. So let's go through and see what we can figure out. Okay. So a club, a diamond, a spade, and no trump. So West has got um, four spades. East has got less than four spades. Right. So how many, what's the minimum number of spades that North has got? <laughs> oh, cool. I love when you make us do this. All right. So West has four. We have four. That's eight. East has max three. Maybe. I, I, I guess that's all we know for, ne for right now. So 11. So North has two or more. Right, right, right. Okay. Now I'm really, I'm, I'm, um, really stressing this point here so maybe you wouldn't go into all that detail but the fact is there are a lot of clues we can work out a lot of stuff before we do anything and we should be doing that mm. um, as people one of the great uh, skills and mysteries for a lot of people is how you count the cards how you how you remember everything right and you can make it so much easier on yourself if you just actually look at the hands at the start and, and think about what clues are available. Mm. What um, what about the points? How many points has North got approximately? Now, this is oh, something you should be Right. Well, so North has only passed, but we can get a pretty accurate sense of how many points everyone else has. Right. So let's talk it through. East has responded one no Trump. Club of Diamond, a spade, and no trump. So East has got six, seven, eight, nine points, something like that. Mm. And West, who opened, does not have enough to go to game. In fact, West doesn't even have enough to invite to game. Right. If West had, say, 17 points, that he would have invited to game. So we know West has got 16 points at the most. So mm. part have something. Mm. Uh, all right. So now we haven't, it's not like this hasn't magically made us find the right lead, but we've sort of, we're already, we're well placed to start yeah. the end. We're in a, we've set ourselves up well to kind of be aware of what's going on, feeling relaxed. We've done that stretch, as not Okay. So, I'm looking at this hand and I'm not going to lead a spade because that's probably setting up West suit. Yeah. I'm not on leading a club because that's probably West suit. East bid diamonds. I don't really want to lead a diamond. I'm going to lead a heart. Mm -hmm. Maybe a spade because I'm leading sort of through the spades in the north end and the west end. I, I think I'm just going to lead a heart. The safest one. Unbid suit. We have four of them. Yeah, it's not super, but no lead looks particularly great on this hand. I know some of you will be saying, oh, no, there's no way I, I would lead four to the jack when East has been one to Trump. But no suit looks great. Mm. So I'll okay with a heart. Mm. And second choice would be a spade? Yeah, I think so. Do we, do we promise an honor if our honor is just a jack? Jack's an honor. Jack's an honor. 
And it is our, it is the suit we really want to attack. Uh, now let's so let's pause for a second. What happened on that first trick? Three, five, ace, four. Okay, so we're five, six, seven, eight. It looks like if North had the Queen of Hearts, he would have played the Queen, not the Ace. Mm. So East has got the Queen of Hearts. Mm. Um, all right, now let's again. We're not doing anything yet. We haven't. We're not planning anything at this point. We're just looking at the clues. Let's yeah. have a look at the. Uh, West hand, 13 high card points. East has got between six and nine. So you know, points are about split evenly. We've got seven, eight, nine. So North must have eight or nine points, 10 points, something like that. Where are they? Where are they? Well, four of them are in hearts. Clubs doesn't look, we don't, there's not much point in um, playing, keeping on playing clubs. That I'm not entirely sure that was North's greatest uh, switch. Mm. But that's life. North played a club, so fine. Mm. So what are we going to do? Well, the speed, I reckon we, there's not much point in playing hearts because West has got the king and East has got the queen. Maybe we can set up a spade trick. Right. So with, with the, the thought playing in no trumps, setting up our long suit, we were initially hoping we might be able to set up the hearts, but from what we learned about where the queen most likely is with East, we're thinking maybe let's switch tack, see if we can develop a spade trick. Yep. Why not? Why not? Do we... Do we win this? Is there any reason to play low? Is there any? Uh, yeah, but this probably doesn't matter. Playing low might be right. Um, it's really, unfortunately, it really wasn't a good card from North. So North has kind of put us in a bad spot, but mm. it's fine. I think I'm just going to win the King of Clubs in play a spade. Gosh, I, I'm not, I just don't know. Okay. Doesn't matter which spade? Just play a little one. Hmm. All right. Good. Now that's pr great. Hmm. Now, great. So this is good news. So now we now not only are our two spades set up, we're also we've also got a lot more information. Hmm. So we know. Let's think it through. What's what are East's points? What's going on in the diamond suit? Okay, let's think this through. This is important. We've got to do this. We've got Gosh, to be doing this. Oh, oh, this is hard work, Graham. I, 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 I was trying to think about the spade suit, and you're asking us about the diamond suit. Do it. It's not hard. It's just getting into the habit. Okay. What's East? Let's just think about the points. Tell me about East's points. What are they? Where are they? Well, they're not in spades, so we right. know that. Uh huh. Uh, the the we're, we're guessing East has the Queen of Hearts, so two there. Yep. Uh, clubs. The only thing with the, the Kings all uh, the King we already played, so not in clubs. Right. So besides besides the the, the we're guessing the the Heart Queen. All of East points would be in diamonds. Right. Wow, Graham. It's not this. I tell you now, Bajir, just stop for a second. And everybody, what I asked what looked like a difficult question because we were so busy focusing on the spade suit. And then yeah. all of us, when I say, what do we know about the diamonds? And you're going, the diamonds? Man, I'm not up for the diamonds yet. But actually, when we, when we actually think, well, yeah, we can do this. You I, 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 those were my exact thoughts. I was like, darn it, Graham, we're recording live. I can't think about the diamonds. All right. Now, imagine mm. if we just got into the habit of doing this all the time. Mm. And 
you know, you're sitting there at the bridge club or what have you, and the declare is um, stopped, and you're thinking, oh, come on, why are you taking so long? Well, mm. that's an opportunity for us to be mm. going through this thinking, well, yeah, don't just... mm. And before long, you'll be you'll be doing this naturally, and you'll be, you know, you'll just it's magic. You'll be just knowing what everyone's got. Right, right. That's the, that's that's the thing. That's what we want to be doing. And 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 I guess just a, a reminder to everyone: we haven't played through this hand together. Um, I, I I I'm sure I'm right in saying. Doing this work won't necessarily make the difference with this hand, but it's the idea that it, the better we get at this, the easier we can do this through, you know, whenever we're playing, it will pay off. Even if this hand doesn't end up being one of those perfect teach us a lesson hands, because we know East has diamond points in diamonds. Okay. Actually, right. So now this is. You think about your score. If you go down and play at a bridge club or what have you, and every score for everyone is 50%, of course. Okay. So you're thinking, oh, I'm, I'm getting 50 or almost on 50, and you want to improve your bridge. Mm. Well, you're not going to go from 50 to 70. In order to improve, you want to get from 50. If your average score is 50, mm. A really great thing would be if in three months' time you could get your average up to 52, right? And then another three months, 54. Right. right. Before long, you'd be doing great. How right. would you go from 50% average to 52% average? How mm. many – what do you have to do to do that? And the answer is one trick, mm. right? You mm. think – Every board you play, you play a session of 25 hands, and each hand is worth 4%. Okay. So on one of those hands, if you can turn an average score into a top score or even a bottom score into an average score, mm. the score is going to go up to by 2%. Right, right. Now, when you do all this stuff, it's not going to make a difference. On most hands, it's not going to make a difference. You're just going to be doing the hard work for no result. Yeah. Every session you play, on one hand, it will make a difference. Mm. Make a difference. Mm. And those two hands, when it does make a difference, that's what's going to get you from 50 to 52. And if your average is 46, then that's what's going to get you from 46 to 48. Right. That's it. So we've mm. got to do that. All right. All right. Come on, team. All right, Graham, should we uh, keep going, see where we end up with this one? Let's just play it quickly through. I think, well, I think we've hammered the point home here. Yeah. <laughs> we know East has got another spade, so let's follow suit to the spades. Okay. East must have the nine of spades still. Here's the diamonds, no surprise. King. Okay. Now, just – well, stop there. Stop there yeah. for a second. We'll finish their hand here, but what we know is that North has got the Queen of Diamonds. Mm. Because East had the Queen of Hearts, or we think East had the Queen of Hearts. We know that East played the Ace King of Diamonds. That's nine points. East mm. did one jump, showing six to nine. Mm. North's got the Queen of Diamonds. East got the Queen of Hearts. North started with two spades, the doubleton queen jack. East has got the nine of spades left. I mean, we've got all this stuff now, and the hand has become easy. We don't even need to play it out, man. Right. We just, no. Okay. Well, I, I, gosh, it's, it's, it's a reminder, and I think especially for, you know, casual players like myself, but maybe not, you know, for any improver or learner, we should reserve sessions where it's almost like don't even worry about the score. Just, just try to visualize the unseen hands. Because yeah, I visualized six months of my life. <laughs> mm. Mm. One day I said to myself, I'm just, this is hopeless. I'm getting nowhere. I'm just going to have to do this. Mm. And so I, down. I just 
forget about the scores for six months. Right. Mm. Focus on the visualization. Yeah, and the scores actually look after themselves anyway. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, do it. Cool. Well, uh, uh, Graham, I, I think you remind me uh, at some point, I forget why, you were reading a book, you got to near the end, and you decided, I'm not going to read the end of this book. <laughs> I'm going to keep the unknown <laughs> tucked away. And I guess with this hand, why don't we do that? We won't. We won't finish this hand. We'll let. We'll, we'll let the viewers imagine whether or not this thinking helped with this hand. I'm genuinely uh, unsure. Perhaps it would. Perhaps it wouldn't. But the we ended up with the 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 moral of this video seems to be less related to this particular hand and more about the practice that we can continue with beyond the result of any particular hand or even a particular session, what we can just work on as, as learners. Yeah. And one, one, one trick, one trick per session. That's our goal. That feels doable. It feels yeah. like we can get there. The book wasn't, I'll tell you what, it wasn't James Joyce, was it, Ulysses? Because... I only read the first half page of that book and then I put the book in. There you go. I might have thrown it across the room. Thanks, Graham. Bye, everybody.